Hey, what's going on? It's your boy DMAC on this uh, Sunday afternoon doing something we just haven't done much of. Um, and that's weekend pregame shows. So uh, it's a special occasion. We are very excited in the McKee household. We're all in. Really? And um, just here to talk to you about what's going on in the game, give you as much information as we can um, leading to puck drop. And then we'll look at the game for just a little bit and then come back with 10 to go, not five to go, 10 to go to walk you through the last part of the third period and post game show as well. I'm watching this game. Gratefully, I'm watching Altitude on Fubo. So I'm glad I can because theoretically they go, um, you know, they go far enough and we won't have that. Ability, but I think they're going to still do pregame, postgame shows on altitude the whole time. So that's awesome. So love all my altitude sisters and brothers. And um, I'm all for it. So, hey, here for your comments, your questions, how you feeling, your trepidations, your energy, your excitement. And um, what do you got? What do you got for me? Um, here we go. And it has been a roller coaster season for the Avalanche and it doesn't get more boring going into the going into the um postseason. It'll be Georgiev and Nat. We'll see how that goes. You know, Jared Bednar yesterday when uh we spoke to him was a little cagey about who was gonna go, but that's just kind of the way Bedsy is, period. You know, it's it's gonna be Georgiev. And, you know, we'll see. I don't think it's set in stone, though. I don't. I, I think Bezzy will go with his instincts about who gives them the best chance to win. And, of course, it's, you know, over there in the, the Winnipeg side, there's there's no doubt that Hellebuck's one of the best. He might be the best goaltender in the world uh, this season. And, you know, getting down to the Jets ain't a good idea. The, the Avalanche have lost all three matchups. To the Jets, including a humiliating 7-0 loss at home not that long ago. I mean, that was awful. And then, you know, you close out the season with a meaningless game against Edmonton. And in that game where you played your entire team, although you started Annanen, you lost Jonathan Drouin, which is a monster loss. Yesterday at practice, we saw Zach Parisi skating with McKinnon and... Rantanen, but, and then we had, yeah, and then we had uh, Lecky, Val, and Middlestad on the second line. I guess I'd be surprised if Parisi's up there, but I don't know if there's a lot of good answers. I mean, losing a top six guy, never mind somebody who's, you know, had the career of his year, and it helped that Nathan McKinnon also had the best uh, year of his career, too. They're showing on the pregame. Georgia getting ready to get out. Saw Devon Taves. Congratulations to Taves and his wife, of course, as she gave birth two days ago. So that's why he wasn't at practice yesterday. And uh, he did join them on the plane. So congratulations to the Taves family. It is a whiteout situation in Winnipeg. So they're all wearing their, uh, their white T-shirts there. So that'll be the vibe. And away we go. We're looking for information here. Let's see if we get any from. <clears throat> yeah, we're seeing uh, Kiefer and Mitchie just like, what do we say? How, how, how do you categorize this one? Oh, my God. Is Kiefer calling? Is he growing a playoff beard? Is that what he's doing? Kiefer's growing a playoff beard. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Yeah, they're talking about December 7th, Jets win 4-2 in Denver. December 16th, Jets win 6-2 in Winnipeg. April 13th, Jets win 7-0 in Denver. Avs, 13 goal differentials, worst against any team. They were outscored 17-4. 17 goals against is the most by any team. Most games against any team without recording a point this season. 
Wow. Tough. Hellbuck's um, unbelievable, and it's a tough matchup. So, Hellebuck's 37-19-4, and 2.399 goals against, 0.921 save percentage, fewest goals allowed with 25 games played in the NHL. Connor Hellebuck, you can't get down. I'm not saying he's unstoppable. They've had games where he's given up a bunch of goals. He's not, you know, but you don't want to be down against this team. Uh, goals against the Jets, 1.3, season average 3.7. Um, goals against 5.7 seeds and average 3.1 power play percentage versus Jets 11.1 season average 24.5 penalty kill versus Jets 50% season average 79.9 third period goal differential minus two against the Jets plus 23 against everybody else. I'm not sure you could get a tougher first round matchup. I really don't. I mean, you win this series, you may be going to the Stanley Cup final. It it may break down like that. Oh, man. I'm not trying to get too morose or too down, but I'm killing you with truth. All righty, Avs, it's your turn. We got to get at least one of these in Winnie. Let's go. Agreed, my man. Let's go. Feel pretty good about this. Let's come out firing Avs. That's from RJ. All right. Making a prediction, abs four to two. Okay. Love it. Uh, they're taking a look at Duran's injury. Yeah. Uh, it, it kind of is a weird one. If if what they it was a non contact injury, yeah, he went off right after that. Uh, it's a weird one, man. Non-contact, just sort of skating hard. Something weird. Something weird. So, I mean, it's not like he took a hit or something like that. He just was skating and something gave out. So whether that happened there or it was going to happen inevitably in game one, I mean, but boy, what a loss. I mean, what a loss. It might have might have happened no matter what. So might have had nothing to do with playing in that game. It's just, you know, something that was bound to happen, something that was wearing out. Who knows? It's a loss, though. It's tough. If a fan costs Rockies a game, do they escort him out? Well, that happened earlier today, RJ. And we'll get to that in about last night, tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Uh, hi, DMAC. Is this the watch along? Hey, yeah, Mel, I'm still trying to see if I can't get a party going or be out and about somewhere but for this one this is it so again we'll just start watching and then with 10 to go in the third i'll come back and join you guys and i'll be upstairs watching the vast majority of the game um with my wife and then you know go from there you know i will show you some of the reaction oh i was actually there yesterday hold on this is um, some of the players, how they're feeling about the loss of Druen, and everybody was talking about it. So let's see if I can get it here. Okay, hold on a second. Tough losing Again, I'm watching Altitude on Fubo. Um, a oh, come on. To, uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go back a little bit. It's a loss, man. It's a loss. And being out at the practice yesterday, first of all, it was a longer type of practice, pretty intense. Um, worked quite a bit on power play, penalty kill. All right, here we go. Oh, uh, wait. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll get you there. I'll get you there. All right, here we go. Um, he's played great. Um, he's had a great season. He's had some really good chemistry with those guys on the five on five and on the power play. And um, so we have to, uh, as a group, pick up the slack and um, and get ready to play more. It's it's just that it's that next man of mentality. That's the playoffs and that's how things go. You know, obviously, it's it's 
tough losing Drew. He's a great player and a big part of this team. So um, it is a piece of everybody to step up and have to uh, contribute. I'll try to be my best. Um, a lot of things in hockey are out of our control, but you know we're going to try to play our best hockey with or without Drew. It doesn't really change much. Um, you know, it's like I'm going to try and play any better. Uh, hopefully I play well this series. Um, but yeah, we definitely miss him a lot. He's you know, one of our best players. He's had an awesome year and definitely love playing with him. I love all right. Yeah, it was a bummer, man. It was a bummer. I was in the locker room yesterday talking to the guys, and, you know, it is a next man up sort of thing. That's what Miko said as well. But still, it stings. Kind of catches you by surprise. And to already know he's out for the entire series is, like, wild when you think about how long a series could actually go. Total bummer. All right. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We got to go to hell and back to get this series. Going to be tough. I hope we can steal this one. Maybe they'll be overconfident since they smashed us in the last game. All right. Well, we can hope. Uh, Mel, I've got the Jets in six. I got you, Mel. I get it. So you, you've got the... Yeah, Lee, that is depressing, Mel. That means you got the Avs winning two games, including one in. <laughs> you got the Avs winning a game in Winnipeg and then losing the series at home like they did last year against Seattle. Yikes. DMAC, how does Nate deal with the matchup on the road? Adam Lowry is going to be out there every shift that Nate's on the ice to shut him down. Uh, I think Nate's just going to be Nate. I, I don't I don't know if there's anything special or specific Nate has to do aside from <laughs> you know aside from being the best player in the world. Uh, I'm not sure there's a whole lot. Listen, it's the defensive system of Winnipeg that is difficult to deal with. It's boring hockey. It's physical hockey. It's clog you up hockey. It's like something the uh, Lou Lamarillo and the New Jersey Devils would embrace from the early 2000s. It's 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 not great, uh, but it's effective and it wins them games. So what is what does Nate got to do? He's got to just be Nate. I, I don't know if there's anything special unless you've got some other ideas. Thought the same thing as win the series and then they have a real chance at the cup. Well, yeah. Yeah, I mean, by every level you can imagine, this is the most difficult series they got. All right, here's Moj with uh, Josh Manson. Hold on a second. Hold on. Gotcha. Hang in there. All right, here we go. Health, helping people live the healthiest lives possible. Right now, let's get you back to Winnipeg. Mo, standing by with Josh Manson. All right, Keeper, thanks so much. Josh, welcome to the Stanley Cup playoffs. It's what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah, it's what it's all about. We worked the whole season for this moment, right? You come into this game, where's the team mentally and physically getting ready to begin this journey? I think we feel good. I think we're excited. Uh, I think we, we've established that belief in our room that we can do it. Um, and now it's time to go prove it. How much will you rely on the past experience with this club and what you've done before to pull you through not only game one but beyond? Well, I think we have guys in the room that have been there before, right? Like uh, and on our own team, guys that have been here in Colorado. But where's guys from other teams that have, you know, look at Colts, made it, made runs, um, you know, what he's played in the playoffs. We have guys that have been heavy and proven in the playoffs. So I think we have a good group, uh, and that's why we have a reason to believe. Best of luck. Go get them. Yeah, thank you. All right. Well, he'll be, he's an important, they're all important players, but Josh Manson, um, super important. I am curious what the lines are going to be. Did that come out anywhere? Let me see. Let's see if my guy Jesse uh, said anything. Mm -mm. Oh, wow. Jesse's reporting Sam Gerard not taking warm ups. Eustace Ananen is out with an illness. <laughs> what? Oh, huh. Wow. Uh, it's Arvid Holm backing up. Annan was at practice yesterday. Practicing. Yusus Annan is out with an illness. When did that happen? Holy smokes. 
Wow. Dang. That's crazy. That is, that's uh, bananas. Okay. All right. Well, uh, let's get some Bedsy here for you. Any series, any playoffs, you're always going to face adversity, tough times. You're trying to avoid riding the emotional roller coaster. Um, and I think that you, we have a team that doesn't get too worked up if things don't go our way. You know, they're not going to get too excited if, if things are really going our way. It's all about being prepared for what's coming at you the next, right? The next shift, the next period, the next game, whatever it is, regardless of whether you win or lose the one before that. So it's kind of been our message is focus on our process all year long and what makes us or what could make us successful. And I think the guys are bought into that. So, I mean, it's, it's, I think it's really important this time of the year because you're going to go through struggles, you know, throughout any series, especially when you're playing a team like the Jets. Regular season adversity and postseason adversity is a completely different animal. And, and, you know, the pressures are higher and the stakes are higher. So um, players tend to deal with them a little bit differently. But uh, we have a lot of experience in this room to deal with it and calm everyone down. All right. Uh, well, adversity. So Georgiev starts. And now it's that's not even like a big question because Ananen's out because he's sick. I am blown away by that. Um, again. I was at the practice yesterday at Family Sports. Ananin was a full participant. There was no indication that he wasn't feeling good. Um, Gerard was a full participant, like skating hard. So I'm I'm surprised by that. What is going on here? Okay, I'm uh I don't know. I don't know what to say. Okay. Again, I'm watching um Altitude on Fubo and um I'm reading my guy Jesse from Gorilla Sports who's up there. Okay. Uh let's see some more of your comments. Avs need to keep it close tonight. Traditionally the most likely game to steal is game two uh probably because they already know drew is out much longer yeah that's probably right uh john castro abs in five i'm glad you're optimistic avalanche win game one jets win the series all right anybody check on michael guerrero He's got to be down bad right now. Uh, Michael sent me a note earlier uh, today about Peter's painting podcast. Michael's doing okay. Uh, the Jets aren't boring against us. They scored 17 <laughs> goals in three games. Well, well, that's true. There's flu going around. I guess so. Um, I That's uh, wild that it could. Okay. I had no indication yesterday that Ananin was going to be sick. And uh, I was, you know, that they brought up Holt, not um, home, rather, sorry, not uh, Prozatov was interesting, but I, you know, I'll, I'll take their word at it. They know the team better than me. That's for sure. Uh, Gerard was so lame in his for checking. I'm not really bummed if he can't play. I mean, he was full go yesterday i mean full go in everything okay uh nuggets did tremendous last night hopefully the abs can do the same well circumstances are much different uh the the nuggets had beaten the the lakers eight games in a row uh we got a little more of nate all right hold on series against Seattle so definitely excited to have lots of humility right now and oh. uh, kind of be the underdogs in this series All right, time for the yeah in your well hands. hold on let me see if I can't rewind that a little bit for you this was at family sports I was standing right there 
So you may have already seen this here, but yeah, like underdogs is a fun, fun uh, experience for us. You know, we haven't been playing our best. We're coming in very humble, and uh, you know, it's nice. Last year we were rolling, but we weren't weren't really deserving the wins we were getting, and you know, had a bad series against Seattle. So definitely excited to have lots of humility right now and uh, kind of be the underdogs in this series. Well, that's the role they're embracing. I, you know, listen, you you finished behind. The Jets, you lost all three matchups to the Jets. You got smoked by the Jets when you played recently on your home ice. You're definitely, I don't know how you could be anything but the underdog. I'm still kind of, it's crazy about Anaman. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, you're not going to play home. I don't care what the score is. I mean, Georgie would have to be hurt. I mean, injured. For him to come out of this game, you, you're you're down four nothing. Sorry, if you, if you're not hurt, you know uh, that's just so crazy, though. All right, looking at the numbers is from Altitude TV. Um, goals per game: three point six eight for the Az, three point one six. Uh, goals against 2.41 for the Jets, 3.07 for the Avs. Shots per game, 33 for the Avs, 30.3 for the Jets. Shots allowed even, 29.8, 29.6. Special teams goal differential, plus 16 for the Avs, minus 8 for the Jets. Listen, it's not insane that you can beat the Jets. It's just... They have just had the avalanche number. That's all. Anything is possible, though, for sure. All right, we'll see um, what's going to happen here in a few minutes as we get going. Um, check the scoreboard here a little bit and let you know what's going on in the rest of the NHL. Buck drop coming up a little bit. Everybody's wearing white there in Winnipeg. So that's the vibe there. In the NHL earlier today, uh, we've got the Panthers beat the Lightning 3-2. to two, And the Rangers beat the Capitals 4-1. to one. That was an interesting game. It was scoreless in like, uh, there were four goals scored like in three minutes. Then everything kind of settled down after that. Later tonight, you have the uh, Nashville uh, playing Vancouver. And here we go with the Avs and the Jets on, well, I'm watching on uh, Fubo, on um, Altitude on Fubo. <clears throat> but the game is on ESPN2 as well. Woo! C3 Bridges, let's go. Indeed. I'm all for it, my friend. What a weird year. I mean, there were so many elements of awesomeness. Um, watching Nate this year was incredible. Watching Miko have a great year, of course. Uh, watching Kale McCarr. But then you had Gerard going out for personal reasons. Val going out for personal reasons in the um, abuse program, substance abuse program, both players. You had Gabe, you know, whether he was going to go or not going to go. And, uh, you know, not only is he not going to go, it doesn't it doesn't look like he's really all that close. Although he skated sometimes on the ice, not like he ever was really like seriously participating um, with the team. So. And you had that awful stretch after the All-Star break where you couldn't win anything. You started the season. Remember that road win streak that they just had going that started into the season? Fantastic. You had four trades, four big trades at the trade deadline. So you see Trennan. Oh, let's see if I can do this. Uh, Middlestat, Trennan. Ryan Johansson. Out the door. Duhame. I'm missing one guy. Help me out. 
Duhame, Middlestat, Trennan. Oh, um, Sean Walker. And you trade Bo Byram, who everybody loves. Get rid of Ryan Johansson, who never fit in. And you've had this, like, you know, kind of wild, is there a goalie controversy? Is there not a goalie controversy? That's been kind of bumping around, too. Drew in out Gerard questionable, but he wasn't part of warmups. See if they say anything. You're speculating what's wrong with Anand, and uh, it's super strange. Considering he was absolutely fine and a full participant in practice yesterday morning. Anyways. All right. Uh, let's see here. Special teams have to bring it tonight. Well, that's true. I'm going to debate you on that one. Jets have dominated us all year, are the far deeper team, are the healthier team, have home ice, and oh, yeah, have the Vesna winner in gold. Tell me again why the Avs are winning the series. Uh, I'm not telling you that, Mel. I am not telling you that. Eustace illness. Yeah, I know. I do not know where that came from. I... I, 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 I seriously don't know what to tell you on that. It's crazy. I don't know what to say. That is so odd. Annan is out for this game. Sick. Yeah, that's true. Minimum Ed Prather effort to win this series. <laughs> well, Ed, Ed Prather always gives you the maximum effort. He's Ed Prather. He'll sell your home guaranteed. You rock, team. At, 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 go Avs. Oh, all right. So Parisi is going to play on the top. Well, these are the projected four lines. Parisi, McKinnon, Rantanen, Chushka, Middlestat, Lekkinen, Wood, Colton, Kibby, Ranta, uh, Cogliano, Trennan, Duhame. You can see the trickle-down impact. Um, Taves, McCarr, Sean Walker, Manson, Jack Johnson, Caleb Jones. They did call up Brad Hunt and um, Chris Wagner. So, you know, I don't know. They, they may just be doing that off of practice yesterday. Wow, Parisi would go on the top. I mean, he was practicing with McKinnon and Ranton yesterday on the top line. He was. You can go back through my Twitter and, and actually see it a little bit. Ah, that's wild, man. Think about that for a second. Uh, a guy who was basically retired, didn't join the team until, what, January. And as the playoffs start, he's skating on the top line? Okay. Maybe uh, he ate some bad potatoes, Leonese. Maybe. Nice reference, Congo. Not too many remember that, I bet. You got me on that. You might have to explain that to me. Is Pros Fatov available? Sure, I guess. But they're going with this uh, Arvid Home guy. Who? I... Oh, my God. Arvid Home? Man, let me do a little research here. Arvid Holm, Swedish, 25, big fella, six foot four. Um, he was drafted in the sixth round of the 2017 draft by Winnipeg. Okay. Played a lot of games for Team Sweden. Uh, let's see. Actually, this has him listed at 6'5", so really big dude. 
Goalies are just getting bigger and bigger and bigger, aren't they? It's crazy. Going to Wikipedia. Uh, 6'5", 190, tall, skinny, 25. Uh, let's see, 2017 draft pick. Played. Yeah, he has never played in the NHL. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. He has played in 12 games for the Eagles. And he was with the Utah Grizzlies for four games this season. So he's only played in 16 games all year in the minors, ECHL and AHL. He's played for the Eagles, Utah Grizzlies, Manitoba Moose, Frogstadt BK. Oh, my Lord. He's never played in an NHL game. Okay. How about that one for you? All right. Well, uh, yeah. I mean, Georgie, obviously. And you have the 96 Avs team photo, DMAC. I do. It's right up there. Bell four getting poisoned. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, 96 series against Blackhawks. Seriously, don't remember the food poisoning. I do not. In 96, you got me. I've been here in Colorado since 99. Um, so you got me on that one. Sorry. You got me on stuff that happened before 1999. Haven't you seen the Uber Eats commercial? You have to forget something to remember something. This, the mountain video is awesome. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Let's see where they're at, actually, what mountain they're on. Oh, we are climbing a 14er in the winter. Let's see if the, it really is one of the 14ers. Well, that's a cool intro. To the top of the mountain. They got some dude climbing up a 14er. Uh, but they don't show him on top of the mountain, so. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, kudos to Connor McGahee and his friend who wrote it. All right. Yeah, Connor's great. He's super talented with that stuff. I uh, just saw that Rockies home run, non-home run, LOL. They can't catch a break. They did win the game, though. But that is um, that is true. This is not going to end well. <laughs> what is going on here? We're not feeling all that optimistic, huh? We're not feeling that fired up. Well, we're going to do the best we can as they get going. And uh, like, uh, like I said, I'm watching the game. On altitude, Fubo on altitude. So I am, I, you know, I'm, hold on. I'll let me hear Moj and uh, Riker. There's no way Moj is going to do a playoff beard. It's just not his style. Riker's going for it, though. No surprise. Let's see. Let's see if Katie's going to give us anything. All right. Well, they're just doing more preview stuff. So no, no big information here yet. Did I make a prediction already? Um, hey, Paxson. Um, ah, my gosh. Four to two Jets. I don't know. I hope I'm wrong on that. 
But if I was just being honest, with Duran out, Georgiev gives up four goals a game, it seems. Um, Hellebuck's pretty strong. Boring prediction. Avs take uh, game one, four to three. Let's go. Adrian, I hope you are right. Uh, Riker made his pocket square out of the short end of his tie. I saw that because he didn't want, want to walk a mile back to get his other pocket square. I mean, who sees the bottom end of a tie anyways? Good job, Riker. It's fun. Uh, from the sounds of it here, I'm sure the Avs pep rally was a gas. Hey, listen, let's be surprised. Let's be optimistic. Let's hope that, you know, let's hope for the best. And I'm glad that uh, we're all kind of hanging in there. So with that, I'll say uh, I'll see you later. I'm going to go upstairs and watch the game with my wife. I'll be back with 10 to go. And that'll be, you know, it's 5.06 already and they haven't started. But... um Uh, the Jets are good. Listen, with 10 to go, and we'll watch last 10 minutes together and give you the post-game reaction and just see what we can do here, man. I'm nervous. I'm not going to lie. I'm nervous. Great win last night for the Nuggets. Fun to be out with them earlier today. We're locked in here to watch this game in Winnipeg. Georgiev against Hellebuck with 10 to go. We'll be back.